Hey guys, so it is the night before my appointment. Tomorrow I will be getting my brows microbladed. Um, I'm pretty scared because I don't have any tattoos. And if it's anything like that, what I imagine that feeling is, I'm pretty scared. But we'll see. Um, I just need a bunch of numbing cream. But I'm pretty excited. Have on my cute little pajamas. Straight out of Target. I'll see you all in the morning. Y'all, so I got a little heart-shaped waffle maker and I am obsessed. Let me show you all this. So, look how cute that is. It was only like $6 at Walmart during like Valentine's Day and stuff. It's so cute. So these are my real brows, guys. Look how cute my press-ons are though. These are another set I got from Shein. But yeah, this, this is it. My microblading appointment is in like an hour now. I'm probably gonna head out in about 20 or 30 minutes. But yeah, this is the before. I've never gotten my brows done because I felt like it just wasn't enough. But I feel like some hair needs to go over here, like over on this side, on each side. But yeah, this is it. <laughs> I'm pretty excited, but also really scared. You aren't supposed to have caffeine like before your appointment so no coffee but so i get to the studio and they get me right into the back room right now i have the numbing cream on this stayed on for like 30 minutes and i'm just chilling in the room for a little bit it's like a bunch of rooms separated by a curtain they do all kind of permanent makeup like areola tattoos um teeth whitening teeth gems everything so this is after they actually did some blading. You can kind of see it, but that's just a dye they put on my brows. But the blading was just the most weird sensation you can imagine. Okay, so this is my finished result. This is like only day one. Oh, this is only like day one, of course. But this is my finished result, you all. So when you look at where we came from to what we have now that's crazy so you have so i have a touch up in six weeks you always get a touch up in about six to eight weeks um and then that's when she's going to like if i want them to be like darker and thicker here i may do that i probably will do that but um they look really good I really wanted something different. I was tired of how boxy and like, like penciled in my brows looked. I wanted some like more natural like. So I really like this. Like this looks good, especially versus where we came from. This is crazy. Um, So it definitely does feel like a micro blade piercing your skin when I could feel it. That's when, before she put like so much numbing cream on it, but it did feel like a blade. And then you could hear like the little and that made it hurt, but it burned a little bit too, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, but there were some spots that like had a lot of um, numbing cream on it to where it didn't hurt at all. I couldn't feel it whatsoever. So it really depends on the numbing cream. This is it. It was pretty fast. Like the actual blading process was fast. The long part was mapping it. Because if you actually look like, compared to the way my brows look now and the way I draw my brows every day, like it's nothing like the natural shape of my brows. So I show her a picture of how I normally draw my brows. And I told her I wanted my brows to look like, to be that shape. So this is what I got. Like my real brows do not grow in this shape whatsoever. I think I had her cut off my whole tail here to where it's no hair. Like it's really no hair here, but it's like hard to tell. So this looks really, really good. I'm surprised at the way it turned out. I'm not, yeah, I'm surprised. I didn't know what to expect and how it would look on me. Like I would probably want to fill them in with a little powder to give them more of a snatch look. So I can't put makeup on these for about 10 days. Wait. 
yeah, I think it's 10 days. I have to wait to put makeup on my actual brow, but I can still beat my face, just not touch the brow. Um, so I'm excited to see how that's going to look and then how it's going to look when I can actually add a little powder. And I really don't have to do much to my brows anymore whatsoever. But this looks really bomb. I really like it. But yeah, that was a crazy experience. Can't wait to see how it looks after the touch-up. I know the healing process is going to be crazy. It has to peel like a normal tattoo and all that. So I don't know. I just hope it still looks good by the end of that healing process. I then decided to treat myself with a little birria quesadilla. Um, I love, love, love this. I This was my first time having it when I actually moved to Portland. But I love birria. It hits different. So we had to visit that famous ice cream shop, Salt and Straw, once again. So this month, their flavors are like cereal themed. They had Lucky Charms or Rice Krispies and Cocoa Puffs. I think I just stuck to my regular one, but I was just stalking their Instagram all week to see these flavors. So I am heading to a couple of stores today. I can't fill in my brows um, for the next 10 days or put makeup on them. So that's why it's a little light there. And then I have my makeup on over here. Can't put it on for 10 days. So I kind of like this look though. Like, I don't know, I look more like I did when I was younger, <laughs> I think. Can't put on any makeup on my brows. I'm going to the store. I have to find my fiance and my dad a birthday present. They have the same birthday. <laughs> so I have to find them something. Um, let me show you all my outfit of the day. One second. Okay. So I have this little tied up top here. Like a little plaid top. I tied it up. I may let it hang. And then I have on some Syracuse Dunks. Love these. With some socks. Just a little basic outfit. Gonna have my Telfeezy. Okay, okay. You see the vision. Okay, guys. So I just went to... My eyebrows look a little crazy. Okay, guys. So I just went to Ulta. I got the Billie Eilish perfume. Let me focus. Billie Eilish perfume. Got a NARS foundation. And Cloud by Ariana Grande. I've been seeing a lot about this on TikTok. And I've been wanting it for a while. And I saw Billie Eilish's perfume and it looks so pretty. Um, the bottle on display looks so nice. I don't know if I got the size that comes with that bottle. But it looks so pretty. But I'm about to head to Nike right now. Y'all, I've never been through a car wash. This is so scary. Like, oh my God. This is like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is funny. Wow. I've never done this before. Like, I've, I haven't been the driver for sure. This is crazy. <laughs> this is very scary. Very crazy. Like, what is this? After all of my Friday errands, you know it is the weekend, which means it is brunch time. We're always going to brunch. This is the outfit of the day. So I have on my Grateful Dead Dunks and just all black. And a green poncho I got from Shein. So it is day four of having my brows microbladed. I believe they should start peeling soon. At least I thought it was going to start today, but it may start tomorrow. According to the card, it's supposed to start today. They look really, really nice right now. Like, I did not put any makeup on them. You're not supposed to put any makeup on them for, like, 10 days. So, this is just how it looks with no makeup. Didn't put my foundation on there or anything. That's just how it looks. So, it looks really good. I think they're in their darker stage now. They may get lighter, but I really like this color. So, when I get the touch-up, I'm going to try to get it darker again like this. But, it looks really good right now. So you all saw my little outfit of the day. I got this poncho from Shein. This is from Shein. These leggings, I don't know where they're from. And then my Grateful Dead Dunks, I've showed you all like a million times. So yeah, that's the little outfit of the day. These brows though, they are giving. <laughs> so here's my Billie Eilish perfume. This is the one I'm wearing today. Like the bottle looks so cute. I didn't know if like, I got the smaller size, so I wasn't sure if it would have this cute bottle, but it did. So that's exciting it's saturday which means it's brunch time we're going to brunch soon and then we're going to a portland blazers game trail blazers game versus the wizards so that should be interesting they have like a lot of food in their um arena i think it should be 
but I'm excited about that. But we're about to go, so I will see you all in a little bit. Okay, guys, we are about to head to the game. Don't look at my closet. So I have on my little Portland jersey. I showed you all in my last video with some red and white dunks. I'll show you all a better thing in the mirror. Let me go to the mirror. And of course, the little red tail Feezy. But we are about to head out. I'm really excited about the um, the food. <laughs> I think it should be really good. They have like way more than we do in Memphis. I'm trying to figure out how to turn this light on. One second, guys. I gotta go to the mirror. Squeeze me. So you all see the little red and white dunks. Portland Jersey, you all know the vibes, but we need to head out right now. We only live like six minutes away from the arena, so we'll be there soon, but I'm trying to get there early. Um, today is Tuesday. It's officially been a week since I got my brows microbladed, so I still can't put makeup on them. They're at the stage to where they're like peeling. So you see that little spot right there is peeling off over there. There's some peeling over here um, on the tail. So it's just now starting. The car said it may take like it starts peeling around day four, but mine took a little longer for some reason. So it's going to be lighter and then it's going to get darker. So by next Tuesday, I should have like the real look, I think. If you all don't know, like I love basketball. I went to Kentucky and I'm from Memphis. This shirt has so much lint on it. Like the sheets here just collect lint. Like it's, I hate it. I hate little balls. I hate holes. Like if you know, if you saw my last like hair review, but Memphis is actually playing in the NCAA tournament here in Portland, which is so, weird <laughs> but yeah i'm going to that game tomorrow today is wednesday so i'm trying to go to the mall really quickly my fiance's birthday is sunday and sunday is the day we actually have to move out of here to the suburbs so we probably won't actually celebrate on sunday my idea is to do it on friday so i put together this really cool cake actually I kind of got the idea because I like I go through his likes on Twitter and um, I saw he liked, let me get my little white pen. But yeah, I be studying them likes on Twitter, but I saw he liked a picture. Um, he, he liked a picture of when India um, got Dirk, a like PlayStation 5 cake. And like he, he has a PlayStation 5 now, but I didn't want to just copy them a lot but he's kind of like an xbox person i feel like he's on his xbox a little more so i'm like hmm i should do an xbox cake so that's what i'm doing i pick it up on friday so we're gonna pick it up together i just been like really anxious lately i think it's because i'm not able to work out like all of my anxieties just have to exist i mean i want my side part back i'm going back to a side part because my head looks kind of big my forehead looks big. So yeah, let's go back to a side part too. But I miss working out so much. Next week, I can start working out again. So I'm just excited to move to this new place. And we'll be closer to like gyms to where I may not just work out in my apartment's gym anymore. I may actually go to a different gym. 
But y'all, this hair I just reviewed, of course I'm gonna come with a real review. This hair is so thick, like y'all. So this is from Kiss Love Hair. This isn't even all the hair. Like I still have all this hair in the back. So this is half, this is half. Let me show you all. So this is the back, this is how much hair it is. So it's a lot of hair. I'm just gonna do my hair and try to head out. I'm not gonna record because I wanna get to the mall when it first opens. So I'm gonna get off of here, do my hair, and I'll see you all when I get in the car, I think. Okay guys, I'm heading out. I didn't show you all my brows are still healing. So I hadn't seen an IC machine since the early 2000s, so I just stopped and had to film it really quickly. <laughs> y'all, I just got so excited. I feel like I hit a gold mine, like y'all. I found three bags of hot puffs. It's so hard to find with the chip shortage. And then we're in freaking Portland. I didn't think they would have hot puffs. Like I'm a weird, I got so excited. My eyes were like, <gasps> grabbed all they had. <laughs> because me and my fiance will be fighting over it because I know he's gonna eat mine. He can't even handle hot chips, but he eats them. Like, and yeah, I told his business. <laughs> but yeah, so I was really excited. I am over here fighting for my life to get in this parking space. I doubt I'm even in here. But it turns out I've been parking in the wrong place. Saw a little towing thing on my car, like a little message that they would tow it by today. It's good I actually went somewhere today because usually I don't go anywhere. So they were actually gonna tow it today by 11.30. Um, I left around like 10 today, so whoo. Good thing I decided to leave, I almost didn't. This pole right here is really messing me up. Like, wait, okay, I'm here, I'm here. So we have a handicapped parking space, which is good because I can't park next to anyone. I mean, yeah, it's kind of good. I should have came to this side a little more, but yeah. Six out of 10. Got some Stella Rosa. <laughs> really, um, I don't, the first time I had it, I didn't really like it because these are like so busy, like, well, carbonated, that's the word I think, to where like, it's like drinking a sparkling water or something. So I didn't really like that. I'm more like a normal wine, but man, got this. Cause I knew it was okay just came in i'm gonna marinate these tenders and put away my groceries while these are marinating so they won't marinate too long but it'll be good enough throw them in this little bowl here so i'm editing this video and i just realized there's gonna be a debate about me not washing that chicken <laughs> so y'all i don't wash my chicken it, I don't believe it's necessary. Um, it's going to put little chicken germs, salmonella all over the kitchen. If you wash your chicken, you're going to cross contaminate everything. Um, any kind of germs on the chicken will be cooked off of the chicken anyway. When it gets to 400 degrees, well, 165, which is the temperature of cooked chicken. So no, I don't wash my chicken. I got some red hot. So before y'all say anything, I'm a Louisiana hot sauce kind of girl, but I, don't, I couldn't find Louisiana here. So I just went with Frank's red hot. I mean, I haven't tasted too much of a difference, but I haven't like actually just had hot sauce. The only reason I've been using this stuff was to marinate my tenders. And I also have the Nashville hot chicken seasoning. So we are gonna put some of this on here. Uh, well, actually a bunch of this on here this seasoning is amazing you all and this is just the kroger brand i've never tried any nashville hot seasoning but this one is really good it's not salty at all you even if you use a bunch of it your chicken is not going to be salty it's just going to be heavily seasoned and i love that so then we're just going to go in with a little red hot sauce to just kind of add a little liquidation to this bam here it is so let's mix this up. And here's the chicken, got a little season, all that seasoning on it, like it's looking good. So I'm just gonna let that sit while I put away the rest of the groceries. Guys, boba is not good. Like I'm over here drinking this drink and you just suck up a random ball. Like, I don't know what the hype is with boba. It's just not giving to me, it's not giving. 
So, it is the Saturday before the move, which also means it is the day before my fiance's birthday. So, I had to go pick up the cake. I was doing a little shopping at the mall earlier, which is when I got my boba tea. But I got the little Xbox controller cake, blew up some balloons, set some presents out, and we're going to dinner later on tonight. So I got us a reservation at Morton Steakhouse, but y'all, this is where all of the black people in Portland was hiding. Like, it was so many. The food was good and all that, but I felt like I was in Memphis. I haven't seen so many black people this whole time. Y'all, it was just a good time. Like, the tables, every table just talking to each other, even though all tables are really close and all that, like... It really felt like home in the Morton State House. Hey guys, it is Sunday. We are moving out of the place and moving to the suburb. We have it all unpacked. One second, I'm over here trying to grab his chargers. We have, I mean, not unpacked. We have everything in the U-Haul. And now I just have to drive over there. And then we have to like actually move into the new place. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay guys, so it has been a while since I vlogged. I am so behind, but we've moved to a new place. My stuff has been sitting in the middle of the floor for two weeks. Um, today, I finally put up all the stuff. So I'm going to show you all the new place now. So let me flip the camera. So, okay, here's the door. So you walk in, first to your right is, this is gonna be my little studio area. It's a mirror over there. Have my cart of all my supplies. Mirror where I do my makeup. A light. I'm working on a wig right now. So I got this nice little. This is actually a nice. This is almost like a room almost. Like right there. Bam. So you look to your left. You have the bathroom. Of course it's been lived in a little bit right now. So we got some stuff out. Um, shower over here regular little shower tub thingy um this is actually a nice size bathroom too to where like you step out like it's a lot of room let me close the door with us in it like it's just a lot of random space to me <laughs> like i don't know but okay you got that okay it's almost like a little hallway you have a little closet um, like a linen closet or whatever. Here, you have the washer and dryer. Pull that. Right there, washer and dryer, bam. I don't have the window open right now. Now you have the kitchen area. So, of course, a little table, all this furniture came with that. So, the oven, the microwave, a deep sink. Got my little coffee area set up air fryer um a lot of cabinet space got my little snacks i love me some hot funyuns um let me show y'all this so this is the protein powder i'm taking right now it's so good chocolate peanut butter tastes like a reese's i also have a dunkin donut one i just got i don't have any lights on i just don't really like lights that much but yeah, a bunch of cabinet space. I never saw a cabinet do this either. I thought that was pretty cool. Like, So that thing like swings out. So that's cool. Bunch of space over there. Table. Walk over here. You got the little living room area. Games. TV over here. Couch. Window. One thing about this is they have these white blinds here. So this place like never gets dark. Um, we actually have a balcony right now, so um, you can pull this up. Got a little balcony space right there. Came with two little chairs to put out there. Really, I would love to put like, I know like this isn't a permanent spot or anything, but I would love to have like a grass rug out there, being bad chairs, and it would be just like a nice little love island type of place. Okay. You come over here, you have the bedroom. I did my best making the bed. Got that bed, the nice size bedroom. So yeah. Um, TV over here, got my PlayStation. Another window over here. And then you have the closet. 
So the closet is actually pretty large. It's kind of messy, but okay. So this is the closet. So of course this is my side. Um, I have my shoes set up, purses. Um, just found the Bratz Rock Angels, Chloe. Um, saw that in Target. I was like, you know what? I need that. Got my Telfizis over there, some pants, but yeah. So it's a really like large closet to me. Got the mirror. But yeah, that is it, you guys.